I've read the fiery gospel written Burnished rows of steel As you deal with my condemner So with you my grace shall deal Let the hero born of woman Crush the serpent with his heel Since God is marching on In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, hold up those Bibles, kiddos. What's the Bible, kids? The Word of God. Yes. Will you, will you let anybody tell you differently? No. <laughs> okay, you guys have that down good. Excellent. Hey, we're going to do Revelation chapter 1. What's that number there, Lucy Roll? Eight. Okay, Jacob, what verses? There's two uh, of them this time. Verse 1 through 2. Yep, verse 1 through 2. That's what that little symbol means, right? Through. Okay. Now, let's read, okay? We're going to learn about... Actually, I should, I should tell you guys what we're going to learn about today. We are going to learn about the seven trumpets. trumpets. Count with me, okay? Ready? Lucy, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven trumpets. trumpets. Like this, right? I made a trumpet, okay? That sounds loud. I want to break it. That's where there's angels up in heaven that have, they each have a trumpet. Seven of them have a trumpet. Okay? Yeah, but we're going to make seven trumpets. Yep, and that's what we're going to talk about today. This word up here, you guys ready? This is the word, a Hebrew letter, Shin. Can you say that? Shin. Beth. Beth. And what uh, do you think this is? Why? Why? Ayin. Ayin. Yeah, Ayin. And what this says, and remember Hebrew reads backwards. Remember that? Yep. It's not like English. English reads this way, right? Yeah. Hebrew reads that way. So we'll start here. We go, Shh. B, uh, sh, ba, sh, sh, ba, ba, sh, ba, sh, ba, ba, that's the word, Hebrew word for seven. Seven. Can you guys say it? Sheba. 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 In the Bible, there was even a queen named the Queen of Sheba. Sheba. I believe that's what her name was. All right. The queen of seven. Yeah, seven. <laughs> You're right. And what's God? What, what's one of God's favorite numbers in the Bible? Seven. Is it seven, Lucy? Is his favorite number six? Mm. Whose favorite number is six? Satan. Yeah, yeah, but he just stole it from God. Yep, he God just, likes every single number. Yep, he likes six too, but seven is when things are complete. Six without seven is usually not uh, very good. But anyways, that's another topic for another time. We're going to have a lot of pictures we're going to look at today. And I'll show you what those are in a second. But first, let's read. Don't steal my trumpet. <laughs> All right, look up at the board. All right, Lucy, what? Yeah. And anybody know what that word is? Okay, we'll, we'll go over how to say these words after we're done. But I'm going to read it, okay? And when he had opened the seventh seal. Now, what was the, the seventh seal? Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Remember we did that scroll yeah. that, that was in the hand of the, that was in the right hand of the Father? Yeah. And nobody could open it except for Jesus. Yeah. And he opened all the seals, and then he gets to the seventh seal. And that's where we are today. The seventh seal. The trumpets blow. Yep. That's what we're yeah, going to see. Yeah, look at our page because the trumpets on our page. These are the seals that we talked about, the first four. And the trumpets. Yep. We actually skipped a few, a few of the seals. Maybe we'll have to talk about that another time. But anyway, you guys are still going to get to learn some good stuff today. All right. So that was that special scroll, and he opened the seventh seal, and guess what happens next? What? There was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. Oh. How long is half an hour? It's, it's like, this is a whole hour, and then you split it like that. Yeah, I'll show you something here. 
Oh, we get, should have it. Oh, here it is, right here. Now, please test it. Lucy, that's a, let's pretend this is a whole hour, right? Mm -hmm. One half plus one half. You take one half and give Jacob the other half. Yeah, it's a half hour, okay? Yeah. That's what a half is. Yeah. Okay? So there's silence in heaven for a half an hour. You know what this means? This means that heaven, everybody in heaven knows that something is going to happen. In a half an hour? So they're really quiet. Yep, for a half hour. They're like, oh, oh my gosh. That's what everybody in heaven's doing. They know that something's going to happen to the earth. And this is what happens. Ready? And I saw the seven angels, which the seven angels, which the stood. Seven before, angels. No, that's just the half. Okay. Now listen, Lucy. Here, let me collect these, so you guys can focus. All right. Good job. I got another one of these. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay. Another one of our fractions. Okay. So. And I saw the seven angels. How many angels? Seven. And what? Seven. The, which stood before God. These are angels that stand right before God. Yeah. That means they must be very important angels, right? Yeah. It would be pretty cool to be right before God, wouldn't it? Yeah. Whoa, that would be awesome. Someday God's going to come up and give us a big hug. And he's going to say, a job well done. I kind of want to be one of those. You want to be one of the seven angels? Well, hey, remember, we have to be humble, right? Yeah. If we, if we are humble and we serve God, he'll bring us up to where he wants us to be, okay? Just remember that. It would be cool to be there, though, in front of God, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it's going to take a lot of love and work for him. But someday, Lucy, he's going to come, give you a big hug and a kiss, and say, a job well done, my little daughter. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, I love you so much. I can't wait till that day. All right. And to them were given seven trumpets. All right. Each there were seven angels standing up there with seven trumpets. Do you remember when the do you remember when Jericho was there and the walls of Jericho fell down after the priests walked around with seven trumpets going? Doo, doo, doo. Well that's kind of like that's kind of like what the angels are going to do. Can I try to open you? Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Good job. All right. Okay, so that's what the angels are going to do. And that's, these are, these angels, when they blow this trumpet, it means there's a war about to happen. Okay? It's a war between it's God's not, kingdom it's not and... not just laughing stuff. No. But I'm just trying to teach you guys so, but it's very serious what's going to happen, okay? But we don't need to worry about it because these trumpet angels, these are on our side. They're coming to help us. Yes. Uh, are we going to, why are we going to make a trumpet? We can maybe make some trumpets after this class, okay? Okay. We got, all, we got a lot of activities to do after this, okay? But here, this is how you spell the word seven. Or the number seven. Say it with me. S. S. E. E. V. E. e N. N. Spells seven. Seven. S. S. E. V. E. e N. N. Spells seven. N. Yes. Okay. We're going to get into each one of these. So when the, the first angel blows his trumpet, he goes. Doo, 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 doo. This is what happens. All right. Hail mingled with fire and blood is going to hit the earth. Yeah. Is it coming for us? No. No. Those people who will not listen to God, just like the Egyptians, right? Hey, that's the page what we did yesterday. Well, it's similar, okay? Hey, this, this is the first trumpet. Hail comes from heaven, okay? This is, that looks like the blood. This is this the second trumpet, okay? This is a great mountain burning with fire is cast into- That looks like the star. Into the sea, yeah, it's kind of like a, it could be a, you know, it might either be a volcano that blows up or a big be, asteroid, a, a big rock from, from space. It looks like a rock. 
Yeah, that's what this picture looks like. It, you know what it looks like? Huh. It looks like um, Mount Zion. Like Mount Zion? <laughs> okay. Well, it is a big mountain that's going hit to the, hit the sea. And then we get to the third one, and a star called Wormwood is going to hit the earth and poison some of the rivers. It's probably going to be a comet. You know what a comet is? And the bad guys are going to drink it. Yep. Yep, and the waters are bitter. A third of the water. I think I believe it was a third of the waters turned bitter. Okay. What is a third? It's oh. the orange. All right. See this? This is one hole, right? Yeah. Okay, take a third. Okay. Now hold them up. We each got a third, right? Yeah, we each got Well, in these trumpets, they hit a lot of, uh, uh, they destroy a third of different things, okay? I'm not going to, we're not going to read the whole list today. But, um, Why can't we? Well, because it's a lot of stuff to learn in one day. But uh, I will show you after this class if you want to keep going on it. Okay, can I have that third oh. back, please? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that's like a comet, like a big ice chunk. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna hold on. Hold on. Okay, you just blew the fourth trumpet, right? Yeah. You blew the fourth trumpet. Now darkness comes upon the earth, right? Okay, let Lucy blow the next trumpet. Okay, Lucy, you blow the trumpet. Oh, oh wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. I forgot to mention. Right here. Ah! Okay, that's enough, please. That's enough. Right here, between the fourth and the fifth trumpet, this eagle flies through heaven. Now listen, listen, listen. This eagle flies through heaven, and he says, Whoa, whoa. Whoa, to the earth yeah. because of the next three trumpets that are about to blow. Mm -hmm. So the first four trumpets were really um, big things that happened, right? Yeah. But the next three, the eagle says, are even worse. Okay? To the, the those people who will not worship God, okay? Okay, blow the trumpet. Do, do, do. Okay, the, okay, hold on. The fifth trumpet are the demon locusts. Yeah. They come out of the bottomless pit. Okay, Jacob, that's the I trumpet. To, I get to blow out. Okay, oh, wait. Wait till I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is this, Lucy? The demon locusts. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to go to number six. Blow the trumpet, Lucy. <laughs> okay, pass the trumpet to Jacob. Number six trumpet are the four angels, the four bad angels are loosed from this river called the River Euphrates. Yep. It's in, it goes through Iraq. Did you know that your daddy was in Iraq? Yeah. Yep, I was served in the army over there. Yeah. Yep. And I actually was stationed right on that river for a great part of the time, so I used to see that river every single day. Oh. All right, we're going to color this map later. Okay. So blow the trumpet, Jacob. Is that the seven? This is number six. Do, do, do. All right. When the sixth trumpet blows, this is Poison. called this is called yeah, this is called the vial. Yeah. And this there are gonna be seven of the vials. And they're gonna be they're like a cup with God's wrath in them, and he's gonna pour it out upon the bad guys. Yes. Lucy has a cup vial, and it, it's, it, it was like a, it looked like a butter plate. Yeah. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. We're going to learn about these vials next Jacob, time. Jacob, it's my turn to blow the trumpet. Oh, the trumpets are done. Please hand Daddy the trumpet. Okay. How many trumpets are there? Seven. How many angels are there? Seven. Yeah, and where do they stand? Uh, every single thing up in heaven. A lot of things are, aren't there? Where do those seven angels stand um, when they're giving the trumpets? Because the 24 hours. Yeah. You're right. And the four 
living creatures, those four cherubs, right? Yeah. Okay. What was my question? Let's see. I was asking you a question. Where do those seven angels stand? Uh, On earth? Up in heaven. Up in heaven. Up in heaven where? Right before God. They are God's warriors, right? Yeah. And guess what? <clears throat> what? God comes after them. Yep, and then he comes afterwards, after they uh, they help uh, defeat the bad guys. Mm -hmm. oh, so there are, the first one is hail, say hail. Hail. It's, the second one, a great mountain, say mountain. Mountain. The third one is wormwood. 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 Fourth one, darkness. Darkness. Number five, the locusts. The locusts. Number six, the four angels, the four bad angels. Can you say that? Four angels. Four angels. Number seven, the wrath that's wrath. in the vials. Okay? Good job. And what is this Hebrew word? Uh, yeah. Sheba. 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 The Sheba trumpets, right? Mm -hmm. Sheba trumpets, the seven trumpets. Good job, kids. Hey, let's hold up those vials let's, here. Let's, let's do the trumpets now. The vials will be next. Hey, what is the Bible? Word of God. God. Yes. Is this? Wait, wait, let anybody tell you differently? No. 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 And is this how we live our lives? Uh, we live our lives according to what the Bible says, right? Yeah. Yep, because it is the path mm -hmm. to heaven. Amen. Christian Overcomers is brought to you by the tithes and offerings of our listeners. If you'd like to support our ministry, please go to ChristianOvercomers.com. God bless you, and thank you for your support. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never call retreat. He is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant, my feet. Our God is marching on. Glory, glory, high.